welcome to Vietnam. Now let's rewind a little bit. So we arrived in the country five days ago and this is all we have in the world and we carried it with us. So you can see that there are five suitcases of varying sizes, two pet carriers, and two day packs. Um, we don't have a lot of stuff in the world, or at least we didn't when we arrived, and so we carry it all with us. Um, and it was quite difficult to get it all together and get moved out of Turkey, but we did it. And we're here in our Airbnb in Vietnam, and we want to tell you a little bit more about our journey. All right, so leaving Turkey. We left Turkey with all of that stuff, just like Steph said. We struggled with it quite a bit. However, when we arrived at the airport at Istanbul, we got a porter to help us take the bags inside. We'd also prepaid daily passes for the IGA lounge, or I-G-A pass it's called, um, the IGA pass. It's a daily pass, it's about, with tax, it was about 64 euros each and that allowed us to go through security uh, really quickly in a, in a priority lane and we also didn't have to take the cats out the carrier so that was awesome um, just walking straight through with them which was quite different than when we traveled with them before we had to take them out and walk through and put them back in and of course cats are rather skittish so that was a little bit scary um, also immigration we got a dedicated uh, lane to get our passport stamp to get out the country. And again, in Istanbul, they have a second security after immigration, and we got to fast track that as well. And we also didn't have to take the cats out the carriers. So it was fantastic. We got through the whole process in like 10 minutes. It was really good. Um, in Istanbul airport, they have a pet toilet area, which um, I'll just drop in a photo now of that. Um, incredible. Um, I think I've also got some video footage. We'll, we'll, I'll have a look back and see if um, there's something on the camera. Uh, really good, honestly. Hats off to Istanbul Airport. Free kibble, free kitty litter. You can close the door in the room and let them have a little bit of a run around. So that was great. And then we went and sat in the lounge. We had some dinner and some uh, sodas, uh, some juice. And then we went to our gate. The flight was quite long. It's an 11 hour flight, or give or take. And um, the cats were really good. I mean, wow, what good travelers they were. They were quiet virtually the entire time. You know, Patches, because she's a bit bigger in the carrier, she was quite uncomfortable at times. We just petted her a little bit and she went straight back to sleep. So, you know, they were happy to arrive, as were we. Um, we had booked three seats. We booked an extra seat for the comfort and just so passengers wouldn't be next to us with the cats, um, which is good for passengers, good for us. It was expensive though, it really hurt our budget. Um, once we arrived in Vietnam, we uh, took the cats and our luggage through the Declare Customs and uh, we showed the guys the cats and we were basically waved through. So um, we had our documents with us he just took a cursory glance at them and waved us through. So that was fantastic. I'm not sure if that's normal. We read all different kinds of uh, uh, people's experiences, and but we were lucky. That's what happened for us. So uh, we've been here now for five days in our Airbnb. Cats, it's a bit small. Cats don't have much room to run around. They're quite active, our cats and uh, we're eager to move into our new place. So let's just have a quick look at where the cats are. As we said that they're quite active. Um, one is on the table and one is on the counter. Now they are not allowed there, but this is what has been happening in this little Airbnb. So yeah. we're Tangy. about to stop this and get them Tangy, off. Tangy, what are you doing? <laughs> He's so naughty. He's a naughty little thing. And Patches, she's bossy. If he does something she doesn't like, she goes and attacks him. It's on. Yeah, it's on. They wrestle a lot. Um, yeah, it'll be really good to get them to the new place. And this is our new home for the next year.
rather spartan at the moment. It's just getting its final clean before we move in. Yes, we're also supposed to be getting a new television, which is, will be nice. And just to make it a bit more cat friendly, we have screens here that we can pull across. Um, yeah, we got them installed today. Yep, and so this way we can have these open, be getting some air, or we can be out on the balcony, and we don't have to worry about the cats escaping, jumping off the balcony, anything mm. like that. Yeah, definitely, eh? Yeah, so that's pretty exciting. This is our view. If I can open the doors. Yep, this is our view. Little eateries and places to have a beer and stuff that I'm really excited to explore. Yep, and here's our lovely agent. Aha! Uh -huh. Hi. So come with me. Now, this is the second bedroom, the small one, and this is the bed here. We're waiting for another mattress because the one that was in here was a little bit soft and a little bit old, so we're waiting for a new one to be delivered. It's got a desk already, it's got some cubbies. And um, a view, a little bit of a view out there. It's a bit backlit at the moment. Yep. So this is the small bedroom. The main bathroom. Here, this is the main bathroom. You can see there's a rain shower and a handheld as well. It's really big. Yeah, it's quite spacious. Yep, yeah, nice big shower. Uh, nice big bathroom compared to what we've been living with. Another closet. Some storage. Some storage here. And then this is the master bedroom. So you walk in here, you see there's the bed and two side tables. There's another television. And then lots and lots of storage, lots of closets. Yep, and we'll put a chest of drawers here, right? Yep. And then here is the ensuite. Yep. And also a rain shower with yep. a handheld. Very much like the other one as well. Yeah, almost Looks identical. Great. Yeah, it looks good, huh? Yeah. Made, be made bedrooms view and Bintan. Yes, that's Bintan down there. Nice. Awesome. Yeah, two bedroom. Lots of space for the cats. Yes. And we have big plans, by the way, for catification. Yeah, that um, So we'll update you on that soon. And also here is some more storage. It's actually a full storage room. Yeah, it's almost big enough for a bedroom. <laughs> it's almost bigger than the bedroom that we had in one place in um, New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> and we were just lucky enough to be given a new TV and we can watch Australian television. How's that? Awesome. And our wonderful agent, Mr. Ahau. Hi. He's He's great. He's been helping us so much. <laughs> this is my lad, sir. <laughs> he got everything set up for us and he's been taking care of everything. So if you're coming to Vietnam, we highly recommend that you contact him and we will drop his details down below. Yes. Oh Catch his details in the description. <laughs> so uh, my detail, my telephone number, 077 us. Four nine one four seven seven eight. Yeah. My WhatsApp, my yellow, and my Viber as well. Okay, and we'll put his Facebook page in the description so you can follow him on Facebook if you're coming to Vietnam. He has the best apartments, great prices, some of them negotiable, and uh, really takes good care of you. Speaks fluent English, so uh, yeah, get in touch with Ahao if you're coming to Ho Chi Minh City for sure. So our new place yeah moving in tomorrow huh yes and we did a little bit of shopping today and we've brought two suitcases over so we've got about double this to come again tomorrow um, but yeah not too much stuff really yeah and all this room wait until you see what we have planned for the wall like to to go there for the cats yeah um, and we've already got like the tree and stuff for them so we want lots of room so that they can run and not feel like they're in a cramped apartment anymore yeah 
That's quite big, isn't it? 114 square meters. Is that right, Aha? 117 meters square. Wow, 117 meters with two bedrooms. That's not bad. Yeah. That's pretty big, hey? It's really big. Yes. Yeah, because normally 170 meters is three bedrooms. Three bedroom. Yes. Yeah. So that's why we've got such a large <laughs> living space. Look at it. Yeah, living in the space. Yeah. Steph, you can dance. I can dance. This is like as big as our apartment in New Zealand sometimes was. <laughs> yeah, just this part. Just this so part. So nice. Very happy. <laughs> Very happy. And thanks to our landlady. Yeah. She's a lovely lady. Yes. Volunteered to put the screens in for us and also the TV. So brand new TV and those screens are going to help our cats so much so we're so thankful and help us get some fresh air as well yeah we get some fresh air on. no we don't like aircon so much and on a later date we'll take and show you the grounds because wait until you see those those are kind of what sold us on the place it's a little bit far from where i'm going to be working but i decided we decided it was worth it to to live in such an awesome location yeah the grounds are like a jungle down there so green you don't even know you're in the middle of a city and the swimming pool is amazing yeah there's actually three pools a kiddie pool a, a parents pool, pool and uh, a big pool for other adults <laughs> <laughs> for, you don't have children <laughs> for exercising so yeah. it's gonna be really good we can't wait to move in tomorrow so just uh, waiting at the moment um, for a new mattress in the second bedroom but that's it everything's complete and they've done a deep clean, so it's one of the cleanest places we've ever moved into. Yeah, I barely have to clean, which would be the first time ever. We decided to go with a sofa bed sofa for now, because uh, the one that was here was quite um, large and a bit ostentatious kind of thing. So uh, we might end up putting this in the storage cupboard and buying our own sofa later. But for the first uh, month or so, this one will do quite nicely. We'll put a cover on it to protect it from the cats and uh, hopefully they behave themselves. If not, we'll be buying the landlady a new sofa. <laughs> oh, well. So happy. <laughs> no, I just want to see you. Oh, hello guys. This is Vietnam and this is one of our favorite restaurants. Let's go inside and have a look. It's called Na Hang, Na Hang Nong. Let's have a look. Hello. Na Hang Nong. Beautiful restaurant. Decor is superb. I think someone I know is already in here. What's she doing? Waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are we doing back here, Steph? Well, it was one of our favorite places the last time we were here. We were actually in Vietnam in 2019. End of 2019, not long before the COVID hit everything and changed everything. And this is actually, that trip was actually the, when we started thinking that we might like to move to Vietnam. And now it's finally happened. And this was one of our favorite places in Ho Chi Minh City. And so I'm really excited to be back here. I have great memories of the place. Yeah, food's delicious here, isn't it? And a lot of variety. So basically, if you're not sure what to eat in Vietnam, you want to see what's available, it's a great place. Well, so I ordered uh, fried spring rolls with some vermicelli and some greenery for a starter. Absolutely delicious. As you can see, I've already hooked in. Uh, Steph? What did you get? I got the whey so, noodle so. soup and it's a bit like pho but the noodles are different. Um, it's also a little bit spicy. You can see you get a lot of greenery to put that in that as well. You get mint, um, some bean sprouts and some other bits, some lemon to put in it. It's delicious. And well. you also got some spring rolls to start but they came second. Yeah, they brought the soup first so I started with the soup. <laughs> and I've got pork chop with some rice for my mains absolutely delicious and look at the setting it's incredible love this place right in the middle of district one right in the middle of downtown ho chi minh city amazing and of course i've got a tiger beer first beer in vietnam 
And Steph's being a good girl. I've she, got a lemonade. <laughs> she's trying to be good, trying to get on track. Yes. All right, let's hook in and uh, sum it up afterwards. Yep. So Steph, how was that? Well, we've demolished it, so I guess that tells you how it is. Um, what I love about Vietnamese food is that there's a lot of freshness in it. So like my soup, okay, it's a soup with noodles and beef and all that, but then you've got the fresh herbs and um, lemon and um, uh, sprouts, everything to put in it. And it just makes it crunchy and fresh and it really adds something to it. So I love that about Vietnamese food. So many times uh, what you're eating is like layered with textures, with flavors, those types of things. Same with the spring rolls. I didn't quite get how to wrap it and everything, but you have leaves that you can wrap around the spring roll, put some noodles in it, put some other things in it and eat it that way. Um, so yeah, it's very layered, I'd say. Delicious. Yeah, the spring rolls should be eaten in the lettuce leaves, wrapped in lettuce leaves with some of the vermicelli noodles, yeah. dipped in uh, chili and soy and... Sweet sauce as well, they yeah. had, yeah, so lovely. Yeah, the flavors are light, refreshing. Um, right now I feel like I'm bulging, but I know that, you know, in a little while I'll feel like normal again. I just had so much food and a lot of liquid because I had the soup but it doesn't really like make you feel heavy, like yeah. a lot of meat-based dishes do. Yeah, or potato-based dishes, yeah. like in the West, and even like Turkey, where we just came from, yeah. the food is very heavy. Um, this is much, much lighter, isn't it? And with the hot temperatures, that's kind of what you need. So it yeah. might start to cool down a little bit now because the rains are about to start. I can tell by the gray sky. But during the day, it's really hot here. And Vietnam just has two seasons, hot and dry and hot and wet. So you need things that are quite light, I think. Yeah, and it's a hot and wet season right now. And it'll for, last for six more months. <laughs> yeah, or, you know, four more months at yeah. least. Anyway, um, great to be back at this restaurant. Yeah, it's fabulous. It's just as good as I remember. And the ambiance here is amazing. Yeah, yeah, the decor, the ambiance is just stunning. Such a great place to come for a meal, to bring a friend. So if anyone is looking to come to Ho Chi Minh, you will be brought here. You will be brought here. <laughs> if you're coming with us. Yeah. And if you're coming on your own, just come here. Yes. Okay. That's it for now. Catch you later. All right. So carrying on from what we showed you in the inside, now we're going to show you the outside of our grounds. And this is what really sold the place because um, they're amazing. Also, if you imagine there could be another lockdown or something, which Vietnam was quite strict, um, we're happy to be locked down here as well. <laughs> So there's a walking track there around the three towers that make up the property. Um, we have an adult's pool here, which we'll show you a bit better in a second. And here's a cafe and restaurant. And here we have a smaller pool and a child's pool down the end. So this is kind of family area. And right down the end there, you can see a children's pool. Very nice complex. And there's the gym up there. Health club, as they call it. So let's go for a walk around the pool here. So the complex makes up four towers. The first tower we can't see at the moment, that's called uh, Crescent. This one is uh, Boulevard, that's our tower. Then we have Boulevard again i believe and that last tower over there is called avenue here's the awesome pool let's jump up on the deck so we can show it to you better on the weekends we also have a pool bar that's open friday to sunday selling alcohol and the restaurant also caters for the pool area so it's kind of like resort living it's definitely luxury living super luxury and considering where we lived in istanbul which although we loved it um, it's very different from here so yeah we're quite excited to have a different experience um, and a bit of luxury living i think is just what we need right now yeah so we we're living in one of the poorest neighborhoods in istanbul which as steph said we absolutely love but you know we love this too we're flexible <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah so we haven't been in the pool yet we've only been here a couple of days and we're bound to get in it before long 
and look at that i think we can do some lovely laps that must be pushing 50 meters 40 at least probably and now we can see the towers it's an incredible complex one of the best residential complexes in all of ho chi minh so we really lucked out yeah. uh, had a great agent as we said his description his uh contact details are in the description below definitely if you're coming to live in uh Ho Chi Minh, we recommend you hook up with him. He'll find you the best place for the best price. Yeah, so basically you just tell him what your budget is and he finds different places to show you in that budget. And he was really quick to catch on to what we liked and what we didn't like. So after seeing like two apartments, he already knew exactly what to look for for us, which yeah. is great. Yeah, so. There are the facilities. We have a cafe, a restaurant, a pool, a pool bar and a health club and gym we also have a gourmet wine and food place there which we visited yesterday and yeah it's it's Spent lovely a <laughs> small fortune in there yes it's not big but it's got great products it has pretty new much zealand wine <laughs> new zealand wine imported cheeses um all kinds of stuff we even found salt and vinegar chips that was awesome so yep there we go gourmet food and wine there's also a convenience store on site. It's not so exciting, but yeah, very also practical. A spa, hairdressers, a dry manicure. cleaners, um, manicure place. There's an ATM. Yep. Um, so a lot of things that you need. Yeah, it's very self-contained. And uh, it's a pet friendly building, which is one of the reasons why we live here. As you know, we have two cats and here, here comes someone with their lovely dog so the dogs are living it up Hello. very nice people are lovely everything's awesome touch wood so what do you think Steph so I think that we really fell on our feet here um, it's more than what I'd ever expected we would get in Ho Chi Minh. Um, even our budget was quite good. I didn't think that we could get something like this, and we did. Um, each building has its own security that's got reception. Uh, you get a lot of things delivered here in Vietnam, and especially we're setting up house. So we have a lot of packages coming. And reception, just take them for you. Um, if you haven't paid for them yet, you can leave the money with reception in the morning, and when the package comes, they pay for it, give you the package at the end of the day. All of this is very handy whenever you're setting up and whenever you're living somewhere. And of course, you know, I, I pray to God something like COVID doesn't happen again or COVID does not rear its ugly head again. But after living these past two years, it's something that's always on your mind. And so I think that we've really picked a good place that if worst case scenario happens, you know, we'll be great. <laughs> we'll be fine here. Yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> Our apartment's nice. So um, since we last showed you the apartment, it was empty. We'll take you up to finish this video and show you the apartment now we've almost decked it out. Yeah, so I mean, you know, we, we still keep things simple. We're not big on a lot of, you know, pictures and decorations, but you know, we've got our du duvets, we've got the bed, um, you know, the, the other mattress has arrived. So we'll just show you how it looks now. Yeah, we'll show you how it looks now. All right. Hey guys, we've just come for a walk from our place and it took us about 30 minutes and it's about 32 degrees out, so I'm soaked. Um, it's very hot. We walked through the back streets of Bintan and we saw the market and everything and now we've come to Landmark 81, which is the tallest building in Vietnam, the second tallest building in Southeast Asia and it's actually the 17th tallest building in the world. Surrounding Landmark 81 is this green oasis in the middle of a very busy city. Um, it's a lovely space and um, I think it gets very busy on the weekend, but right now it's quite quiet because it's so hot out. Um, Landmark 81 has a shopping mall in the bottom, like a shopping complex, a supermarket, and um, a cinema, things like that. So we're about to go and check that out, pick up a, bit, a few odds and ends that we need. So we'll catch you over there. Yep, see you over there. All right. 
So we're at the entrance of the mall here at uh, Landmark 81. Let's go have a little sticky peek. And it's your typical mall like you find in any country, anywhere. Uh, high-end shops. High shops and nicely air-conditioned. Nicely air-conditioned. There's also a viewing deck from the top. We're not going to look at that today, but we will someday soon. Supposedly there is a skating rink. Who knew? But yeah, good idea in this heat. And what we're here for, most importantly, is the Wind Mart, which is the supermarket in the basement. Yeah, and uh, just a little update on masks. Yeah, uh, supposedly you don't have to wear them now in Vietnam, so they're kind of optional. We usually have one with us and we take it, uh, depending on the situation, if all the locals are wearing one, we usually just pop one on because you don't want to be the, the foreigner walking around without your mask on. That always feels a little bit strange. Uh, but if nobody's wearing them, then we don't worry too much either. Yeah. All right, let's go downstairs. And the ice skating ring. I've never tried ice skating, have you, Seth? Yeah, I have. <laughs> Quite a few times in Pennsylvania. And I think even, it, for some reason, I think that in Greensboro, North Carolina, I went with some students before, so... Yeah, I've been ice skating. I'm terrible at it, but it's quite good fun. Yeah, I can roller skate, but I've never tried ice skating. Oh, oh there's somebody that might be me if I try. Yeah, I'd say a broken <laughs> kneecap, a twisted ankle. It's fine when you're 20, but whenever you're not, it can be a little dangerous. Yeah. I like these little things that you hold on to to, to <laughs> the learn. <penguin>. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and a whale. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's go and uh, find the supermarket. So yeah, like any mall anywhere, there's a food hall, there's a food court. Oh, there's Anam Gourmet. Let's go there first. This is one of the top import shops in all of uh, Vietnam. So as you can see, it caught my attention. This is our first time seeing a branch of this shop. So and you can actually bought Vegemite from it. Online. <laughs> online. <laughs> yeah, so we've made an online order already from this shop and they have Vegemite, can you believe it? Um, Turkey doesn't have virtually any foreign imports, very few. Uh, but here in Vietnam, they've got a lot of imports, in particular Australian imports. So, woohoo, let's go. Let's see the damage done. Look what we got there. We got some beautiful desserts. Donuts, breads. Wonderful. Hello, sir. Okay, I'll turn this off while we go and find some goodies and I'll turn it back on to show you what we picked up. Okay, so we just picked up a few items from Anam Gourmet, as you saw. So we've got some Heinz ketchup. Yes, some Pennsylvania, that's you know, a good one. And then here we've got Viga cheese, which we're very excited about, Australian cheese that we haven't had I don't think since we left Australia. Yeah, yes. that's right. Strong and bitey from yep. Victoria. Some mulberry um, jam or jelly, I'm not sure which. Yep. And some snakes alive, which are the favorite of Susan's. Yes, delicious, juvie, sweet lollies. So we didn't actually need anything from this store. We didn't know that there was one here, but we were very excited to go and have a look. I can imagine we'll be picking up some things in the future. And one thing that we've noticed already about Ho Chi Minh City is if you have money, you can basically get anything you want. So if there's something you miss from home, if you have the money to buy it, you can get it. That's right. Because there's luxury shops like Anam Gourmet exactly. right here. And luckily we had a little dabble, um, probably a bigger dabble later on. Yes, definitely. So yeah, if you're missing anything from home, I suggest you stop in here and see what they have. Okay guys, so soon as we've been out wandering for a while, we've decided to have lunch here at Landmark 81 before we head home and uh, we're in the food hall here. Let's check it out. So Landmark 81 food hall. 
what you have to do is you have to buy a card for 10,000 dong, top it up, only cash payments. And when you top it up, then you come inside and you choose your food from the menus at each of the stalls. For example, this one's Hong Kong, so specializing in Hong Kong food. Um, here we've got one from Thailand, which is what I've decided to get. I've, I'm getting the uh, chicken and cashew nut. So we can see it there. And we've got Korean food, Malaysian, Japanese, and here you can get your drinks and your desserts. So it's really well set up. It's like a little mini food tour through Asia. Quite popular, even though it's fairly early. It's about quarter to 12 at the moment. So yeah, looking forward to some Thai food. And Steph's getting Korean, I believe. Let's, uh, let's ask her what she's getting. She's already got a table sitting comfortably in the aircon. Oh, it's nice to be out of the heat. So this is the card that you get and you put the money onto it. And I'm having Korean babimbap, dosa babimbap today. I'm very excited because I haven't had a really good babimbap in a while. I have high hopes for this. Okay, so let's wait for the food to come. Guy told me it'll be about 15 minutes. Um, yeah, eager for some Thai. Haven't had Thai for donkeys. So really looking forward to that. So I've got some chicken and cashew nut here. Uh, let's give it a whirl. hit me in the back of the throat. Um, yeah, quite tasty indeed. It's one of my favorite Korean dishes, and so let's give this one a go. Mm. Flavorsome? Flavorsome, yeah. I haven't had a good one in a long time. Spicy? Mm. Yeah, spicy because it's got gochujang, which is the chili sauce, the Korean chili sauce on it. Really good. I'm missing the side dishes a little bit though, but still. Delicious, nice big pot of it, and yeah, I got the beef one. So we thought we'd just quickly show you what the apartment looks like now. Yep. The big TV did arrive. We enjoyed watching Australian State of Origin yesterday on that, which yep. is nice. So that's a 50 inch Samsung. Yep. We've got the cat stuff. It very much looks like a cat home <laughs> with lots of cat stuff. Yep. Cover on the sofa, scratch protection, kitchen. We haven't quite figured out the kitchen yet because there's not really enough covered space for dry goods. So we're going to have to get some kind of rack or something. Uh, we finally got a drying rack for the clothes. So out here we have the clothes with the washing machine and the air conditioning units. We'll swing around. Uh, just let you see, there's Tangie. Hi Tangie. Oh, big yawn. Okay, just let you see the expanse of the place. It's quite big. Very spacious. Cats love it. In the morning they run laps. They're training for the Cat Olympics. And yes, Patches on the table. What are you doing, Patches? Patches. What are you doing, darling? Alright. Yes, get off the table. Alright. Um, we finally got the new mattress in the second bedroom. Looking good. Still got mess everywhere. Lots of my mess. A uh, little sleeping pad there for Tanji in the night if he wants to come in here. Uh, nice new set. Uh, 
then across the hall here we have the bathroom. We got some hanging racks to put soap and shampoo and whatnot on. So it's looking more like home. And in the main bedroom, here we go. Steph's got it in a bit of a mess. Another little laying pad for the cats and the view of the city or view of Bintan. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. So this is home, rather minimalist. We don't, you know, have a lot of stuff as in. We do have our Turkish rug to put up. We do have a Turkish rug from Gurame to put up. If you watch that uh, vlog, you'll know about our carpet. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Yep, so this is, home. this is home for the next 12 months. And it's a good chance it'll be home for longer than 12 months. Very comfortable here, yeah. enjoying it very much. Yes, feels very luxurious after where we've been. And also the space and everything is great. Nice big shower has also been nice, really great. And as I said before, we have a plan for this wall here to get yep. some cat things done. Um, surprisingly, there is actually kind of a cat carpenter, uh, like tree yeah. cat, tree cat thing carpenter here. So we're hoping to get something really nice done for the cats as well. Yes, yeah, so there's some obstacles on the wall for them yeah. to jump and run across. And uh, it's hot as hell today, isn't it? Yeah. We just came back from Landmark and we might nick down to the pool yeah. for a couple hours. Finally use it. Yeah, so uh, that's it for now for this first one here, living in Vietnam. Uh, catch us for things to do in Ho Chi Minh City in the next ones. Yeah. Bye for now. See you next time. Where? Girls on the Loose. Bye bye. Bye.